welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Addie today's video is going to be just I'm doing book it like all day I'm going to be doing bookish things and I wanted to do this this week because today I'm very excited I am meeting Lauren Asher who's one of my favorite authors of all time and I'm meeting her tonight at Barnes & Noble and getting her new book and getting it signed and so I'm very excited about that so I wanted to bring you guys along with me because of this I have not bookshop all month because I was just kind of like waiting to go to Barnes for this so I am definitely going to do some book shopping tonight so we're gonna do a little book haul later I also just uploaded my summer TBR video and I really wanted to make a summer TBR journal spread to reflect the video so I am going to do that this morning before we get into that I wanted to show you guys because I'm not it's not my normal kind of reading vlog style this week but I wanted to show you guys kind of my current reads at the moment the first book I'm, I'm reading three books at the moment I'm reading Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson I am about a hundred and 35 pages in and I am this is probably might be one of my favorite Brandon Sanderson books I have read so far I feel like I liked Mistborn maybe a little bit better than this but and then the end of The Way of Kings better than this but out of the books that I've read of his I don't know this might this is really really good I am devouring this like I'm obsessed with the magic system because all of his are different all the magic systems are different but they're all like equally so cool and this one has to do with like colors colors are a big part of the magic system and i really like that and i also have the mass market because they like do not sell the regular paperback unless it's uk and i did not want to wait for that shipping so we just, we're reading a mass market right now but it's really good i'm having a very fun time with this and i'm really glad that i decided to pick it up i feel like it's a good little break between the first and second stormlight the next book i'm reading is leather and lark by Bryn weaver i'm only a few chapters into this i don't have that much to say about it i don't know it's a book club pick and i liked butcher and blackbird this is kind of just a fun time but i don't this is definitely the book i'm reaching for least it's like a serial killer romance and i kind of i like that aspect like i think it's a really unique concept and it's like kind of really fun for being a serial killer romance once you read into it you're like oh okay you're fine it's fine so i don't really have much to say about this yet though the book that i am enjoying the most right now is strange of the dreamer by laney taylor i am so obsessed with this book guys i cannot believe i have never read this like i read her other series when i was like really young the writing style in this is breathtaking you guys like the way she just like like she is a storyteller it's very like atmospheric fantasy which i love and i'm really really intrigued by this magic system i feel like she doesn't give you a lot in the beginning you will know what's going on when she wants you to know what's going on i am super super loving this book i'm not done with it but i think i'm gonna pick up the second one at barnes today because i definitely am gonna jump right into that when i'm done with this i'm really enjoying it i love the characters i'm loving the story i just think i love the writing like the writing is just so beautiful anyway i don't want to get too into my books right now because this isn't like an actual reading vlog i will talk about all these books in my wrap up at the end of the month anyway i am going to get into doing my journaling and then we are going to go to barnes <laughs>
We are in my car now. I'm sitting outside Barnes. I just got here. I'm like an hour early. I'm always very early to things. I'm very nervous about being late, but I did kind of intentionally do it because I want to go book shopping now and I'm very excited. I wanted to show you guys which books I'm going to get. I'm going to get her new release signed as well. This is what I'm most excited about. I've been a Lauren Asher fan for a very, very long time. And as long as these men on the cover for her F1 series have been around like this is the og og covers this goes cr like this is crazy that i have this edition of it i am so excited to get it signed because i love this series so much and then i'm also getting the love redesigned signed i have all her books it was you get up to five but i didn't really want to like lug five around and i like kind of got then i also got really anxious that i would get like up there with five i wanted to bring five books but then i was really scared that I would pick out five books to bring and then I would like no one else would and then I would, she would just be sitting there and it would like take a long time and then everyone would look at me. I was just really scared <laughs> that that was gonna happen, that people would think I was like weird. So I limited myself to two. I picked Love Redesign because I think this is probably like just t factor out like nostalgia. This is my favorite of her books that she's written. I love the Lakefront Billionaire so much and I would love to have it signed and I want the new release signed so I can have like, you know, both that are out signed. So I'm gonna go book shopping and I'm you guys with me and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna read some Warbreaker if I have some extra time. I guess we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of nervous like I want to like get some footage for you guys of like me meeting her but I don't really know what the vibe's gonna be. I'm really nervous. Also I am by myself so that's another thing I'm nervous about. I don't have anyone to just like hold the camera for me. Yeah I'm gonna we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try my best to get some footage. If not I'll, I'm gonna get footage of me book shopping if anything. So I will see you guys later for the haul. I'm actually shaking. I was crazy. I just met Larry Reed. I'm gonna cry. I feel like I just met a celebrity. Last night was actually insane. Like, I didn't finish. I didn't do like technically like not in a day right now because 
I got home so late last night and I didn't want to like disturb anyone in my house but like I'm still like reeling over it. I met Lauren Asher so I was in there I just meet Lauren Asher and I was ecstatic about that anyway I'm just chilling in my little book corner looking at my new books I literally turn my head and I see Larry Reads and I'm like no way and I guess I like should have thought about that because like I do know that they're really good friends and just like from watching her videos I was like oh and like Larry Reads is like one of the first booktubers that I watched ever when I first started watching booktube I got a lot of my early like romance recs from her so I went up and I was like hi like I'm sorry, I'm sorry to bother you but like I'm just a huge fan of your channel and she, guys, she was just so kind like she was just so nice like she's just so cute and so sweet and i just i met two celebrities in my mind last night because so i like watch like i'm not huge on like celebrities so like, i care more about them than i would be about like seeing like a famous out like actor so that was crazy um literally it might be like one of the best days of my life truly i was so excited and she chatted me with me for like five minutes and like that was really sweet like she did not have to do that um, and I was so nervous, like, I, I felt so stupid after, because, like, my legs were, like, shaking. I have really bad anxiety, and, like, I was just so scared to, like, say something wrong or, like, mess up. But she was so sweet, and, like, it wasn't anything that she made me feel like I was, like, doing that. I was just so nervous, and I was, like, shaking, and I'm like, hey! And I'd been dog-sitting all week, and I was like, I definitely smell, like... And it's like we're going through a heat wave right now, so I'm like, I definitely smell like sweaty dog right now. That was just crazy. And then meeting Lauren Asher was just so cool. She was so sweet. I'm so excited too because she said that I was the only one with this man cover today. She goes, you've been reading my books a really long time. And I was like, mm-hmm. Yes, I have. I love your books. I love Lauren Ashbury so much. Like, anyone who's watched my channel, like, knows how much I was obsessed with Love Redesigned. I was obsessed with Final Offer. Like, that was, like, two years ago. Like, when I first started my channel, I was reading Final Offer and I was obsessed with it. And I'm just so obsessed with her books. I love them so much. I got the throttled one, like, customized, signed. So, <laughs> they're the best day of my life. Like, this is my new prized possession. I never thought a man on the cover would be, like, my prized possession, but it is. I'm gonna, like, display it loud and proud. And I also got a new release. I'm so excited. I, I, look at this cover, guys. Like, it's so pink and pretty pink and beautiful obsessed and i'm definitely gonna read this um this is actually going we're gonna break some rules today this is going on the tbr card right now i'm probably gonna read this in my next reading vlog that i do because i'm just so so excited i just started immediately after i finished the books that i'm reading right now it was amazing and like i was talking to the girls online it's just like it was so much fun to like be at an event like that where like everyone shares your hobby and everyone like has like a shared interest so it's like so easy to talk to everyone and everyone's so nice and it was just i i just love the book community with all my heart like i just love it love it love it anyway let's get into the book haul so excited about the book haul guys i went so crazy i'm glad i got there early too because they did the wristbands the wristband system and the earlier you got there the higher number you got on a wristband so i was like 60 but like that meant i was the second group to get to go so so it was good in that aspect but also i was there for like an hour and a half just like browsing and me an hour and a half uninterrupted in a bookstore is dangerous but i limited myself i could have gone crazier i just kind of added books to my tbr instead of just buying them of control self-control so the first book that i got is heartless hunter by Kristen cicerelli and i am so excited about this i've heard phenomenal things about it i feel like last summer like fourth wing was like the fantasy book of the summer and i feel like this is becoming the fantasy book of the summer the little blurb says enemies to lovers doesn't get more high stakes than a witch and a witch hunter falling in love but one of the big reasons i'm excited for this is because i'm such a huge fan of the kingdom of the wicked series i know books are like popular but like i feel like i love them more than the average person i love those books i also love the front of the, front of the fallen stuff just i love them so much so she's like that's like kind of very witchy and i feel like this is kind of giving me witchy vibes so i'm very excited to get to this the next book i am so so excited about <laughs> the new riley sager release i love riley sager he's probably my favorite thriller author if i had like gun to my head if i had to pick one i think it would be riley sager i just love his books i think this one is about th these little like 10 year old boys are like camping in their like little like suburban backyard and it's like you know kind of like if you grew up like in a little suburb sometimes you like went camping in your backyard like sleeping in a tent like it's never a big deal like you never feel like unsafe one when he wakes up his friend isn't next to him and there's a slash in the tent so and now it's like he's like it's like 20 years later and he's back in the town and like weird things start happening and it sounds really good i'm really excited about this also something to note that i thought was interesting riley sager 
very oftentimes writes actually all of his books have female main characters coming from a male author i think that's interesting i mean not in a bad way it's just not what i'd expect but this is the first one that has a male main character so i'm very curious about how like if that changes how he writes his books i'm very very excited to read this the next book that i got I'm really excited about it actually, um, is Shady Hollow by Juno Black. Okay, this book, wasn't planning on getting it. This year, if you guys haven't noticed, I love cozy fantasy. Cozy fantasy has become quickly one of my favorite genres. Like Emily Wilde's It's Like a Few Fairies, Half a Soul, like I love cozy fantasy. So I'm like, I also love mysteries. So like, what's, why wouldn't I love a cozy mystery? And I feel like that's not a genre that I've ever dabbled in. So I went over to the cozy mystery section and I was like kind of looking around and this color just kind of spoke to me. I'm trying to do this new thing. I feel like it's such a thing now to like go into Barnes and be like, if you don't, if you haven't seen a book somewhere on social media, you don't even like look it's in its direction. I feel like when I was younger, like I used to go into Barnes and just like pick out whatever sounded good. And that was such a great like reading era for me. And I found so many amazing books that way. So I kind of want to do that again. And then also another thing that I do is look at Goodreads and if it doesn't have like a four star or above I'm like mm, no I also don't want to do that because I also love books that have been below like far below four stars in Goodreads that's what happened with this one it looked really good to me I read the back it sounded amazing and then I opened it up and the little author's note says Shady Hollow is a tale of woodland creatures and from time to time the contemplative reader may pause to wonder precisely how a town functions with foxes and rabbits as tenants in the same building or a mouse and a moose can chat eye to eye. And that just sounded so cute. And then you go in, there's a little shady hollow map. Love that. And then the first page like really got me. It just sounds like something I'd enjoy. And so I'm ignoring, I ignored the good rating. I've ignored that I've never, I have not seen this anywhere else. I got it and I'm excited. I love, I just wanna try a new genre. The next one I got is one that I am just so, like this is what I was like kind of going in for. Well, the, one of the two that I was going in for. And that is The Housemaid is Watching by Frida McFadden. I'm so excited about this, guys. I want to, I'm going to read this pretty fast. I love The Housemaid series. I think Frida McFadden, that's kind of like my very close second. It switches between my favorite thriller authors between Frida McFadden and Riley Sager. And then Alice Feeney is just a little bit below. I love, 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 love this series the first one is one of my favorite thrillers of all time i've just been really excited for this i think this is a final installment oh my gosh i didn't even notice this this is a bars of noble exclusive you, you get a little note from her oh yeah i hope you enjoyed the housemaid of watching and that it gives you the ending to the series that you've been waiting for so this is the last one which i'm really sad about but i just love her books i can't wait to read it the next book that i got was again a little bit different for me and i was really excited about it i got kiki's delivery service by aiko kodono i think one of my best friends like really like likes the movie or show for this so i really want to watch the show that's part of the reason i got it the little artwork is so cute in it i love it and it just seems very whimsical and magical and i love that and look it has a little cap it says, blending fantasy with the charm of everyday life, this new translation of Aiko Kodono's beloved classic will bewitch the hearts of new readers and dedicated fans alike. I'm very, very excited to read this. It sounds really, really good. It's super short. It's like middle grade. So it's going to be, I think this is going to be a good, like just quick read. But the last book that I got is just Muse of Nightmares by Lenny Taylor. I'm currently reading Strange of the Dreamer. So as you guys know, I've talked about this in this video. I am thoroughly very much enjoying it or enjoying it. I am very obsessed with it right now. So I know I'm going to want to jump right into Muse of Nightmares right after I'm done. So I'm very excited to get to this. There's not really much to say about it though. That is everything that I got at Barnes and Noble. I had, I just had such a good day. That was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed just having, oh, oh my gosh. I got something else and I forgot, I totally forgot to tell you because I was looking at it in my bed last night. And I got a color, I got an adult coloring book and it's a spooky coloring book. And look how cute that is. Look at that little cat. And there's little like ghosts in the back. I went in because I knew I wanted to get an adult coloring book. I've been really obsessed with the show Hilda on Netflix. Like I've been really into like little cartoons lately. Just little magical little cartoons. I decided that I wanted something to do with my hands while I was watching it. So I was like, I'm just getting an adult coloring book. This is what really got me. This collection is a combination of everything I love most. Witchy artwork, intricate details, and a whimsical, creepy cute aesthetic. And that creepy cute is my favorite aesthetic, truly. And I love whimsy. And it's kind of like a storybook. It says, 
In this book, you will follow a witch cat as she goes about her day, crafting spells, making potions, and meeting her fellow creatures. I just, I love that so much. It's so cute. I don't think it's a, she's literally right here. It's, I don't think it's a secret to anyone that I love cats. I'm just excited about my whole haul, but I'm most, most, most excited about Love Unwritten and getting it signed. I could talk about this forever. Like meeting Larry Reed and Lauren Asher was like the highlight of my life, truly. I think, I think I peaked. I think that's, this is where it ends for me. Now I'm going to end the vlog, but I just had so much fun bringing you guys, doing like all bookish things all day, like the reading journal. I hope, oh yeah, the spread. I hope you guys like the spread. It was not my original plan. I lost the sticker sheet that I was like planning for weeks on doing that spread with and I was quite upset but I think it turned out good that was a very last minute like change of plans so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed coming book shopping with me I think I want to start doing like a bookish day like kind of once a month because it was just so much fun because you can combine so much in just like one day and I just loved it so if you guys want to see more of these videos please let me know all right Laura's obsessed my cat's obsessed with plastic and her favorite plastic is the Barnes and Noble bags so we always kind of joke like I get a treat for me and then I bring home a treat for her and we get a treat for her it's a big one win like I get my books she gets her bag we're all happy but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video if you like my videos please like comment and subscribe I post tons of little reading vlogs like this well I will definitely be reading love unwritten in the next one I'm so excited thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you guys soon bye